And then last up, we have Pisces and Sagittarius. Oh, yes. Pisces. So again, the water and the fire may be a little too different, but... Well, let's see how this works out. Okay, well, we know that the Pisces approach to love, well, Pisces ruled by Neptune, uh, can see things through the veil or fog of kind of rose-colored glasses. They're dreamers. Okay. So they're looking for the dream or ideal relationship, mm. lover or mate. Uh, like they the, are. Well, go ahead. Like the Prince Charming, Disney Princess ideal that that's we're raised really, with. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's really well put. And um, what will, uh, uh, they are a, a water sign very sensitive mm -hmm. and very intuitive um, and, and most definitely very emotional and very um, uh, very fluid boundaries so there is a very spiritual quality to them that is very engaging and intriguing and Sagittarians uh, being optimistic mm -hmm. and um, really being strong in faith, I find this really fascinating. What they won't realize is that through their um, adventurous and uh, assertive, uh, very warm but active and adventurous approach to life and bluntness, they can, um, they can hurt sensitive feelings. Yes, I could see that. And um, although this sounds like such a negative word, I will say that um, that Pisces may appear to Sagittarius as a little bit clingy I, because yeah. their emotional needs are so important and uh, because they're water signs, em emotion is important Gosh. and they, they are very sensitive. So that appearance of clinginess won't go over very well for Sagittarians who um, nothing they, they can't be held down long. I see. So it sounds it's like it's not in their nature. Yeah, it sounds like Pisces has that need to be more sensitive and understood, and Sagittarius just doesn't understand that enough to give it to them because they're it, so busy being fiery somewhere else. Yeah, exploring the world yeah. and and finding joy and playfulness and and. Um, and uh, expanding their horizons. So, yeah, I think it would be kind of difficult for this to be a long-term relationship, although I think they'd find one another fascinating. Gotcha. Very good. And again, like we discussed in the videos for Scorpio and their compatibility, it's not all dependent on just the sun sign. Like we're discussing the sun sign aspect of compatibility, but there are other things to factor in. That's exactly right. Um, we're going to talk about sun signs uh, because we're making this broad mm -hmm. and as simple to understand as possible. But while we're talking about Sagittarian sun sign, uh, someone with a strong Sagittarian focus in their chart um, may find, even though their sun may be in another uh, sign, they may find that a lot of this relates, particularly if they have a Sagittarian moon, Sagittarius on the ascendant, um, Mars or Venus involved with Sagittarius or the um, uh, houses ruled uh, natally by Sagittarius. So let's see if I, I have, I've named um, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, which is rising sign, mm -hmm. uh, Venus and Mars. All those are uh, very much involved with uh, making uh, making romantic and relationship and and potentially commitment kinds of love relationships. Gotcha. So, sun being our essence, who we are and what we came here to express uh, as fully as possible, we're going to focus on the sun signs. Gotcha. So just know essentially that this isn't 
the be-all, end-all compatibility. There are other factors. And especially in comparing your chart with the chart of someone that you're in relationship with. Gotcha. Those are the luminaries, sun and moon, uh, the points ascendant, and the planets, especially Venus and Mars, that we most, we first look to. Gotcha. All right, well, there you have it. So hopefully you enjoyed your compa Sagittarian compatibility, and I guess we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you, thank you, and that's... Once that's again, nice. we've wrapped it up again. Yeah, cool. I'm glad we got that. <laughs> Good luck Done. and love. I know. Good luck and love. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't care who you are. Good luck <laughs> <frickin'> and love. <laughs>